Hey guys, uh, it's Zach Pyle here from Pile Digital. Uh, you may have seen me around the forums in the Beaver Builder community. Um, today I was asked by a fellow member if I could do a tutorial on pods and beaver themer uh, and stuff like that. Uh, in this case it was a, um, a press release page. Uh, so I thought I would just go ahead and use that as an example uh, for this tutorial. Uh, so what you're going to need, you're going to need beaver themer, you're going to need pods, um, and you're going to need the additional uh, add-on, the pods beaver themer add-on, so that way you can connect uh, your pods fields over to beaver themer. Uh, Alright, so let's jump right in and we're going to create a uh, new custom post type in pods. This custom post type is going to be called press release. Press releases. Let's uh, name these real fast. So we're going to go add new press release. Um, all of those look good. Featured image, we're actually going to call it. A, let's call it a press tile image, set press tile image, remove press tile image, as press tile image. Okay, all those look good. Let's go over to manage fields. Uh, so the fields that we're going to create, uh, we're going to utilize some built in fields like the title, the featured image, um, the body, the content. Uh, so let's add in a couple additional ones. So we're going to go with a subheader. That can be plain text and we're going to have it not required. Let's create a, let's say a header background image. We'll make that image single and we'll make it a tile. We're going to call this add background image, attach a background image, and add background image. Okay, we'll save that. And then our last field that we're going to add, let's do an about field. We're going to make that plain paragraph text, also not required. So these three are going to be our um, optional fields. Save our pod. And it pops it right over here. So we've got press releases. Uh, it looks just like you're doing a post, uh, but it's a custom post type. Uh, one other thing that we want to do is create a custom taxonomy for that custom post type. So let's create custom taxonomy, let's call it press category, category, press, okay. press categories. Now the only thing that we do, need to do when we create a custom taxonomy is hook it up to that um, custom post type. So you can just go to advanced options here and scroll down to associated post types and click on press releases. So save that pod as well. Uh, when that happens, it will add this over here, and we can create a category just within our custom post type. So let's call this Featured Press. Now let's add a new press release. Um, so I've got some lower Epsom here. Do three paragraphs to Flora Epsom. This is featured press. Um, oh, here. Let's save draft real fast. There's something that I forgot to show you in pods. So when you create a custom post type, you have some options to enable uh, or disable. Uh, so by default, it does title and editor. 
Uh, I want to add featured image and excerpt. Yeah, that should be good. So let's save that and pop back over to press releases. By the way, you can swap out this icon over here uh, inside of pods. But I'm going to ignore that for now uh, so we can get on with the tutorial. Uh, so adding those gave us these uh, some additional fields here. Come on. Uh, this is featured image. You can drag it wherever you want. I usually like to put it over here so that way it's harder to miss when uh, somebody's going through and adding stuff. Um, so let's set a featured image. Um, let's go to unsplash. Let's go to tech. That looks cool. Alright, so let's set our featured image as that. Actually, that might make a cool. No, we'll do a different background image. So, uh, subheader. Let's do this for our subheader. Background image. Mm, sure, how about this guy? Add a background image here. Sorry, I did not resize these, so they're quite large. Cool. Um, about. Let's do this much about. And the excerpt. Excerpt, let's say, just three sentences. Okay, that looks good. Now, as you can see when you go to it, so as you can see, it doesn't look like anything we want it to look like. Uh, there's no formatting. Um, you can ignore this right here. This is just because I have a transparent header, uh, but we'll fix that later. Um, it's not pulling in any of our custom fields, uh, so let's fix that. Uh, let's go over to build a theme. You're going to add a new theme, and let's call this press release layout. Let's do a themer layout, and we'll do a singular layout. Uh, we have to choose where this is displayed. You can select your custom post type, and I'm just going to say all press releases, and we'll publish it. All right, so let's launch Beaver Themer here. And it gives you this default uh, stuff. We're just going to scrap all of this and start with our own design. So let's do a row here. We'll go full width. Um, actually, let's give it a background image. And we are going to connect it to not our featured image. We actually created a separate background image. Um, I'm going to select the size of Hero image. I have this custom size saved in WordPress. And I just do this because it's a nice size between large and full size. So I have that. Um, default image is nice to select as well, just in case somebody doesn't upload a, uh, an image. So we'll go with that. I'll hit save. Um, all right, we want to make text visible on it, so let's do an overlay. Let's do a black overlay at like forty percent. That'll be good. Um, let's add a heading and connect it to our post title. Style it real fast. 
Let's do white centered H1 font size. Looks good. Um, we are going to need to give this some padding. Let's give it extra padding on the top because it it's going to go behind the transparent. So let's say 175, and we'll go bottom 100. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so now let's add our subheader. I'm going to use an HTML model, and you'll see why in a second. Um, let's see if I can make this a little smaller so you can see what's happening. Hmm. Alright, it's going to be a little hard, but I'll try to flip back and forth so you can see what's happening. Uh, we need to do some conditional logic in case somebody doesn't do a subheader. So we'll do WPBB if post pods display field equals subheader. We'll end our WPBB if. Um, I'm going to give it a div and wrap that in a class. That's just the class that I have that is text line center. Let's give it a, um, let's give it a divider. How about that? Style of width fifteen percent. Border color of let's do a light gray and border width of two pixels. So as you can see, this is what we're doing right here. Got this line right in the middle. Uh, let's give this some zero padding. All right, so the other thing that we need to do is add our subheader. Uh, so adding um, pods, you can do two options. You can either connect or insert. Connect takes over the entire field, and insert inserts a short code. So we are going to insert a short code for a pods field. Insert subheader. Save. Um, let's give that some style. So let's give that an H2. Style equals color white. Um, let's go font size of, let's see, our H1 was 50. Let's do, I don't know, something less than that. Something maybe like 28 pixels. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, 20 pixels, and we'll do a line height of 1.1 m's just in case it goes to a second line. All right, how's that look? Looks good. All right, let's fix some spacing here. All right, I am happy with that. Uh, let's make our background a little darker, though. Yeah, that's better. Okay, uh, let's see what we're looking like with the header. Very nice. Okay, let's keep rolling. Let's add in our content. I want to do a two column layout here. I want to go full width. It doesn't really matter if you do full width, I don't think. I think I'm going to keep it white. I don't think I'm going to do anything special there. But that's fine. Um, how about 70-30? That, that looks pretty good. 
Okay, uh, let's put it in our content. So let's go a text editor, and we can connect that to the post content. We can just connect it because it can take over the entire field. And that looks good. Awesome. Uh, the next thing we want to do, let's see, what were some of our others? We let's add in a date. Um, I'm going to do, how about this? Show you another connection via HTML. Let's go with this strong and we're going to post date. We'll insert it. Select our format. That's good. And we'll hit save. All right, got our date. Um, let's add. What else do we have? We've got our about. Um, about was also optional, so let's make that a conditional statement as well. WPBB if. Um, we've got post pods underscore display field equals about, hopefully that's just what I called it, end our conditional, and we are going to put in, let's see, Then we will put in our about section, post, insert, about. Awesome. Um, and then the last thing I think we're going to add over here is share, uh, a way to share. I'm going to go UABB social share. So let's do All right, font awesome. So here we go. Facebook. Twitter. LinkedIn, that looks good, all right, um, icon size, those are a little big, let's do, I don't know, 30, okay, that's fine, maybe a little more spacing, let's align them to the left. Maybe they're still a little too big. 25. Yeah, that's better. All right, uh, cool. So save that, and then let's add just a little uh, about five of share on social. Too much padding. Both of these. Not enough. All right. That looks good. I'm going to squeeze some of this stuff together. Just a little too much padding still everywhere. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, um, I'm going to give this a little separation uh, via a line. Let's see. So we can go border, solid. Let's give it that same gray we used before. Um, and a left of one pixel. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to give this whole column a little bit more. Um, Facing off to the left here. Okay. 
10. That looks good. Do the same thing on this side. Column. Go right. Maybe 5 on that one. That looks good. I'm gonna I'm actually going to remove the top padding on this. Remove the top padding on this. So that way it lines up with the top of that. And then on this entire row, I'm gonna give it a little bit more padding. Call it 40. No, 30. 30 looks good. Okay. Sweet. So let's. One other thing I know that we want to do in the column settings, we want to hide the border on mobile. All right, and publish. So let's see how we're looking uh, for responsiveness. So this right here is getting really skinny, really hard to read uh, when there's only like three, four lines or three, four words per line. Um, so I know I want to fix that. This down here, that needs to go full width once it goes to mobile. Alright, so we've got a couple things to fix there. Um, I'm actually going to make this whole section large devices only. I'm going to duplicate it and bring it down here. Um, I'm also going to add Let's see. Three hashes. It's just a little uh, press release thing. Uh, and then we need to remember to make this medium and small. Perfect. Um, what else do we need to do? Um, this whole column on mobile, let's go 100%. Okay, so let's see how we're doing here. Yes, good. And then that pops over on. Uh, Yep, that looks nice. Perfect. Alright. So I think that about sums up the uh, the Beaver Themer uh, layout that we were going to make for press releases. So the last piece of the puzzle is to go over and make a uh, press release page so that way we can access these. We can access our custom post site. So let's make a press release page. We'll hop into Beaver Builder. Uh, I already created a press header just to save us some time and looks like I did something dumb anyway so that didn't really help. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, let's give it a top padding of like 180 and a bottom of 100. That's not too much. Let's go 50 and 100. Um, all right, so we need to pull in our custom post type, uh, and we can do that through a posts module. I like PowerPack's content grid. So I'm going to use that, but any of them will work. So under content, we need to tell it what we're pulling. And you can select your custom post type right there. And we can see that it's pulling it in, uh, which is great. I'm just going to do a couple things. I'm going to make them all equal heights. This doesn't matter since there's only one right now, but it would uh, if there were more. Uh, I like this uh, option in PowerPack that you can customize the uh, amount of columns per uh, breakpoint. 
Uh, I'm also only going to pull in the featured press that that uh, custom taxonomy that we created. Uh, you could then create another uh, a press archive uh, where you're just pulling in all of them, but in this case, this is just featured press. Um, style, I'm just going to do a quick bit of styling and get rid of all this box padding. And I'm going to add a little extra padding here since we removed it. Um, under content, I'm going to. So we want excerpt, which it's pulling. Um, what else do we want? I'm going to crop it to landscape so that way, no matter what somebody uploads, that it uploads a. Uh, or that all of these match. Um, I don't want to show the author, I do want to show the date. So that all looks good. Um, style. Let's see. Anything else I want to do? I'm going to give it a shadow. Um, it's 10 for blur. And I'm actually going to zero these out so that way it's directly below it. And opacity at 15. Perfect. Okay, so that about sums it up. Um, basically, what we've done is we created a custom post type with a custom taxonomy. Uh, from there, we created a post inside of that custom post type uh, and then styled it with Beaver Themer. Uh, we made sure that Beaver, the that Beaver Themer singular layout was only applied to our custom post type. And then we pulled that custom post type into a module uh, using Beaver Builder. And then any further press releases that we create will automatically go into this. So here's one last look at the uh, layout that we created. Uh, and it's pulling in all of our custom fields that we created inside of our custom post type. Uh, it's also using um, conditionals to be able to pull in... Uh, here, I'll actually show you. So if we remove some of these items, then we can see that our uh, conditionals are actually working. So if we remove, let's say, our subheader and remove our about, pop back in here, you'll see that our subheader and its uh, separator are gone, as well as the uh, about is also gone. So uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, but otherwise, see you around in the Beaver Builder community. Thanks, guys.